Hey, what's going on, dudes? It's the Dr. Blue, and today we're going to talk all about making professional thumbnails for your favorite video games. Especially if you run a video game channel, thumbnails are super important. It helps your click-through rate, and that's how you get the paycheck, my guys. So we're going to be talking about a game that I play a lot, Dragon Ball Fighters. And here's the thing. The animation in this game is perfect for thumbnails. A little bit of warning, this is for Photoshop only, so please download Photoshop, get it as soon as you can, and if you can't, that's cool, there's plenty of other processes that I recommend, Canva Online, it's free, I also like Microsoft Paint, but this is for Photoshop, and so we're going to make our thumbnails go from this, to this. Super clean, super fun, and definitely clickable. So you'll see right now, I am exiting out the Goku, and I have cut him out behind a white blank screen from his level one super. The animation is super clean and super clear, but what we do is we actually wanna cut out not only the protagonist, but you see all the beautiful design that's in the back? Why don't we incorporate that too? So you're gonna see it go incredibly quick because this is a painstakingly long process, but what you wanna do is get your pen tool and literally trace out anything you think is cool on the screen and you'll see why later but it absolutely adds so much depth to your creations i like to trace out the, the supers because in the background you're going to incorporate all your favorite aspects of the game in total this usually takes me uh, depending on how happy i am <laughs> it takes me about 30 minutes just to trace out the background but trust me the end product is definitely worth it trace everything you see on screen that just screams yeah this is what happened in the game and when you get done with this process what you're going to want to do is leave everything blank now the process itself it is painful Staking. So what I recommend doing and how I pass the time, definitely put on your favorite music in the background, zone out, get into the flow, and get it done. The reason you want to do this is because a ton of my favorite YouTubers to look at their thumbnails, like uh, Dato Doya and even Lotus Asakura, he's doing some incredible progressive stuff with thumbnails. In fact, I gotta kind of give credit to him for coming up with like the simplest thing to do that makes your thumbnails look incredibly, incredibly clean. So what I'm doing is taking that style in Season 3 and sort of giving it a little bit of edge and showing you how to do it. Look at all those blue dots. They are absolutely, it took so long, but now look at what you have. In the back, you have a a completely blank PNG setting and you have Goku cut out ready to get its style on what you're gonna want to do is what I do is grab a drop shadow and the layer add effects and then just give him a little bit of outline adding a stroke to your character is so last seasons dude and look what happens when you add an, a, a, a drop shadow to the back of the thing that you cut out as well now you have something to look at it adds depth to an already existing beautiful landscape that I'm sure designers spent years and years working on why I wanted to cut it out is because I actually put the logo in between the character and the super and that's something you're not gonna see in the video game however it allows your viewers to absolutely just get the quickest glimpse of okay this is the game they play this is what they're all about you spend a little bit of time resizing it you add it up and you link it up and you're good to go and from there you're home free you've done all the hard work but it's really a case of trial and error you're going to want to use your free transform tool you're going to want to move your character all around the screen and then really position and see what's up now what i do here is there's the little health bars that are left over all the little game data like you see in the far left and the far right side of the animation i cut out the color using my my free transform tool and just completely overlay that onto the health bars it's super easy super clean and really convenient once you get it done you can copy the layers and just repaste over feel free to go over it again with your paint tool but it also allows you to have just complete ease of access you don't have to keep readjusting your uh <laughs> your paint tool to the color of the platform you can just cut out the background smooth out the layers free transform it like you're seeing here and rinse and repeat the process until it's done now yeah it might take a little while you might make mistakes but hey it's all part of it once you're over go ahead and grab your little paint turn up the hardness to around 50 percent so it blends in smooth and then by the end of the day boom you have a clean let a right leg of your character now the thing about it is this is a process you have to enjoy because it's painstaking it's hard to get people to click on your youtube videos this is why thumbnails are probably the most important part of any video besides the audio now the audio is super important if you don't have good audio no one's gonna listen to anything you have to say 
but the thumbnail is what brings him there in the first place. It has to scream action. It has to get the entire point of the video off from the very beginning. But now that we have this down and we have a very clean Goku with his Kaioken super in the back, hey, what do we do now? Well, it's actually really simple because what we're going to want to do is grab all of our favorite aspects of the character and of the match and try to bring them into our thumbnail. So what I've done here is I've taken screenshots of super good parts of the match. Like in my most recent video, I got a perfect match in. And you'll see here, I move it down below underneath all the existing files and so we're good also a little shortcut a little tidbit if you want to combine your layers along the way like you know you're good with them press Control command e and that combines all of your layers and now that you have a single goku layer with all the fixes you can start moving around the backgrounds use your free transform tool to really really clarify what happened in the video like here i'm going to be moving my free transform so you can absolutely see the perfect i tilt it i do any sort of wacky angles that i think gets the point across and then I use another aspect of the video, line it up, size it up, so you kind of get like, oh, there's a lot of action in these shots. However, what you're going to see here is I really don't like how it turned out. And that's all part of the process, my dudes. I readjust the Goku. I look at it and I'm like, hey, you know what? That really sucks. <laughs> that's not a good thumbnail at all. I wouldn't click on that. So if you're not going to click on it, why would I click on it? Let's just start over. And what you're going to see here is my absolute disappointment. Heartbreak, 10 minutes lost, but eh, it's absolutely worth it. So I go ahead and delete that layer and pull up my video, scroll through until I find something that's like mildly attractive, and then boom. I find it. Kid Boo, nice. Take a screenshot of that. I screenshot with Control Command 3. It gives you a nice screenshot. Bring it in. Rinse and repeat the process, my dudes, until I'm happy. And then, for the final little razzle-dazzle to your video, there's something that a lot of people are doing lately that I think is just super clean. And the part of the process that I want to talk about here is you're going to want to, first of all, make sure both layers in the background have a kind of a clean look. If you want to add more drop shadow to the existing Goku thumbnail, hey, it might add a bit more contrast. But be sure to make sure your background layers don't overlap. And I'm seeing that I have that problem here. I whip out my handy dandy eraser tool. And hey, now it's starting to look good. I noticed there's a big gap at the bottom there. <laughs> I don't really worry about it. But then I whip out what I think is probably the most important part of backgrounds in season three of my video game. And it works for anything, Star Wars, Fortnite even blur your background take the focus off of your background blur that baby and you will be absolutely happy now look at this finished product the background is blurred the logo is in it you know what game it is your favorite characters on the thumbnail and it has so much action because you spent time animating and cutting out raw parts of the super once again control command E to combine your layers and then up that saturation to about 11. Be super careful with, with your saturation, but it's control command. It's just command U. Command U will allow you to saturate and then look, rinse and, and, rinse and compare. Whip back out your original click onto your thumbnail hell yeah i would click on that and then another super important part of this is do not upload this at first if you don't have to what i'd like for you to do is take about a five minute break come back because what i decided is that hey i actually don't like how small the dragon ball logo is so i went back i cut goku back out slid another logo in between them made the size bigger and here's the finished product and it screams action it screams competitiveness and i would click on it in fact if you want to know this video right now has incredible stats on my channel i posted it about i posted it at 10 30 a.m by 3 p.m it had over 1,000 clicks, and for a channel the size of mine, that's actually super phenomenal. We can even talk about the entire click-through rate of my channel. Once I started to care about thumbnails, my click-through rate went from 7% on average to 11%. But if you found this helpful, please drop a like. Leave me any questions, I'll help you through it, and I hope you have an excellent time creating in Season 3. I've been the Dr. Blue, you're incredible, welcome to a new age of creativity, and I'll see you in the next video.